Hey guys, Cameron over at 816 Diesel. Coming at you Monday night after Thanksgiving you with a cold start walk around video. Quite a few people asked me about this truck actually, so glad we're kind of getting to it. But we're down here at 816 Diesel in Kansas City doing the cold start video from the shop. Working late, getting back into the groove. Hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday weekend with family and friends. Uh, back to business though, we've got a 2003 Ford F-250 Crew Cab Short Bed Lariat FX4. Uh, we removed the truck from Texas, has a clean title on it, Texas title, 220-ish um, miles. Anyways, we're going to be doing a cold start walk around video on it today, going through it inside and out, popping the hood, checking out the body, showing you the situation, but... We're just starting with the exterior. Um, pretty stock truck. You know, you see the typical mods you see in our shop as far as black housing Harley headlights go. We've got paint to match Arizona beige fender flares, paint to match 2008 up style tow mirrors with Z1 Oxford white. Got the windows tinted out to 20%. Rocking a set of Moto Metal. I believe it's mo 98 uh, 20 by 12, 8 by 170. We've got a Falcon Wild Peak 35 1250 20. Brand new tire, all terrain. Falcons are really nice. They run really smooth and quiet. Nice tire. Um, other than that, this truck's pretty much stock. You know, there's three inch leveling kit, smoked out taillights, smoked out third brake, backup sensors. Hard loaded truck. Like I said, it is a Lariat package. So actually we'll pop our heads in the inside and coming out of Texas with no heated leather, but it is a fully loaded trimmed out Lariat with a sunroof, which is nice. Sunroof does not leak either. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors, power seats. Let's hop up in here. Ugh. On the miles, we've got 223-602. As you can see, the trainee does have a little bit of temp. We moved the truck around to get it in position. Motor is absolutely cold. We're not gonna start it this second. I just wanted to show you the mileage and kind of go over the inside with you here. Six disc, in-dash CD changer, parking sensors, four wheel drive, uh, aftermarket trailer brakes down there. Got your cup holders here extra charging port it is a overhead console truck but it is in op as far as the you know, little northwest south stuff goes sunroof opens and operates properly as it should with no issues it is tilt and slide overall though super clean truck on the inside you got some you know some cracks in the leather for 220,000 miles but no rips tears very well taken care of. Uh, let's see if I get some lights on back there for you. I'll just hop out and tell you what. Make this a little easier. Super clean in the back. All season floor mats. Nice leather head to toe. It's not shredded out or just destroyed or anything. The best part, like I said, being a Texas truck, getting into this body a little bit ahead of the game, but you can see that rocker is flawless. That is a clean rocker, clean cab corners, no filler, no nothing. Frame, you could eat off it. It's got minor surface rust. I mean, it does have 220 K, so it's not perfect, but it is a Southern truck to a T as far as rust situation, which is how we like to sell them. I mean, we sell them in every walk of life, but Southern and rust free is the way most guys want them. That's what we try to deliver. <clears throat> um, so as far as the truck goes, I'm actually gonna move under the hood first. Since we're inside, I'm not gonna start it till the end. Just do a quick start and walk around. We usually don't clean under these hoods, guys. This one's a prime example of that. We didn't do a lot under the hood on this one. Minor work to get some front end suspension work. The truck doesn't build any pressure in the coolant system it does have an egr delete and an aftermarket exhaust other than that the truck is rocking stock ford head bolts 
no studs, no tune. Uh, I got the truck bone stock as far as appearance goes and I did the lift kit, wheels and tires and lights all myself. It was the epitome of a stock truck when I got it. So fender flares, mirrors, headlights, taillights, wheels, tires, leveling kit, that's all we did. Front suspension, got it back in check. It needed a couple little pieces. Um, that's pretty much it. So going down the body here, tiny little rock chip right there, but I mean, it's, it's nothing. I'm pointing out tiny stuff. There is some discolorization on these, uh, what do you call them? The stoppers on the doors that are supposed to prevent people's other doors from chipping them, chip guard doors. They're pretty common to fade away. It is an FX4 package, so it's gonna have the skid plates and the 373 limited slip. Let's take a look at these bed rails. We do have a nice B&W turnover. It looks pretty much new. Try to get you a view of these bed rails. Not a lot to see, but nice metal. Kind of what I'm getting at. No rust, no crumble. Just nice metal all the way across. Good looking frame, head to toe. Full size spare. Okay, popping our head in the bed. Got your trailer pin hookups down there. Like I said, it's got a B&W turnover in it, so the hitch is ready to go. Looks like, if you look on this rail here, looks like it had some toolboxes or a side box mounted at one point on it. There's not a lot of damage to point out on this truck. She's actually pretty slick. I mean, I'd be stretching to say there's a little bow in this tail or in the rear bumper. Pretty minimal though. Parking sensors do work too, which is nice. <clears throat> there we go. I mean, not really, but that's dirt. That's grime over the chip guard there. Maybe a little scratch, a little imperfection, but nothing crazy. All at the bottom there. Let's check in on this passenger cab corner and rocker. Cab corner is perfect, as to be expected. Rocker is perfect. Exhaust does have the dummy replica muffler if you're in an emission state, which is always nice. Looks a little more intact that way. All in all though, super clean truck. You know, like I said, it's a tough one to nitpick. Came in out of Texas as a work truck, pretty much stock. You know, we like to start with a good core, do our couple little modifications to it, make sure it's drivable. And this one is the epitome of that. Pretty easy all around, easy on the eyes, easy on the checklist. So all in all, great truck. <clears throat> But yeah, anyways, uh, so you know the extent of the cold start. It's 40 degrees out today, so our shop is probably 45 degrees. Truck has moved around from over here, around, parked, back, forth, back, forth, and here it is. So it is a cold start sans those conditions. I know you guys like to throw me under the bus for my cold start terminology, so I'm honestly just trying to present the most honest information I can to you in the most direct manner. So apologize if you don't think it's up to code, but that's what it is and that's what we're doing. Truck fires right up, no check engine lights, no smoking, no missing. Put the snap on scanner on it. All the injectors, everything check out like they should. Um, tons of power turbo it's got that 03 turbo on so it's real whistly and snappy it builds boost super quick kind of let you hear this exhaust out here a little bit it's not super loud like most four inch straight pipes that little muffler helps keep some of that drone out of it so we'll pop the hood and peek at it while it's running real quick check it for blow by Get you an idea what that exhaust sounds like and kind of wrap up the video here.
Truck has no blow by, none whatsoever, no steam, no nothing. Coolant at the proper level. You like to see it right around here, a little bit under. Per Ford. But that's it, guys. I think that's a pretty good detailed explanation and walkthrough. We're down here at 816 Diesel, downtown Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, if you're interested in the truck, head on over to the website. 816diesel.com Again, that's 816diesel.com On the website, you're going to find pictures, VIN number, pricing. Any question you might have going through your head today, it should be answered on the website. If not, my cell phone number is on there. Text me, call me. My name is Cameron. 913-735-3748. Let me know how I can help. Uh, but I appreciate your guys' time. I hope you liked the video. Uh, stay warm out there. And thanks again for watching, guys.